Hello everyone, my name is Dr. April Armstrong. I'm Professor of Dermatology and Associate Dean for Clinical Research at the University of Southern California. Today I talked about new psoriasis treatments that you can use for your patients. And my talk was structured into three different parts. In the first part, I talked about, for example, topical topinarov as well as a topical roflumilast two agents that are very important now in our armamentarium. They are both non-steroidal agents and they work quite well. They now work better than uh, many of the non-steroidal agents that, that we have had in this particular field. Topinarov is indicated for adults with plaque psoriasis, whereas roflumilast is indicated for both adolescents as well as adults with plaque psoriasis. Both topical medications are overall very well tolerated and they have provided new options for our patients with plaque psoriasis who especially do not want topical steroids for their treatment regimen. Then I talked about a new oral therapy, ducravacitinib. Ducravacitinib is a specific TIC2 inhibitor. So it's a small molecule that is given once a day. And ducravacitinib has been shown to be superior to apremilast in the clinical trials. And now we have long-term two-year data with ducravacitinib in terms of um, phase three clinical trials and then follow those phase three clinical trial patients through two years. And what we see is that about 82 to 84 percent of the patients maintain POSI 75 response long term. So overall ducravacitinib in terms of laboratory parameters, um, no labs are required except for TB. You need to evaluate TB before you initiate ducravacitinib. Um, and for patients who have liver disease, uh, you can still use it in patients with uh, liver disease, but you just need to monitor their liver function enzymes while you are using ducravacitinib. Now, moving on to the last therapy that I talked about in terms of plaque psoriasis, which is spazolamab. Spazolamab is indicated for generalized pustular psoriasis, which as we know is an uncommon but potentially life-threatening disease. Spazolamab has been shown to be highly effective in these patient population. And with one dose of spazolamab, 900 milligrams IV, half of the patients will show no pustulation at one week. So this is really important because our patients with a GPP oftentimes are very sick, and it's very important that we get spazolamab to these patients uh, fairly quickly. It works as an IL-36 receptor antagonist. And with that, I wanna thank you for your attention.